America's only Irish station, Radio Irish. That's what you're listening to here at RadioIrish.com. Okay, we're out and about here in the beautiful town of Rutherford, New Jersey this week. We are checking in on Rutherford to see how Rutherford, like any other American town on the east coast of the United States affected by the recent snow blizzard is getting on. How the town is faring out with the New Jersey snow removal law. Look at that thing there. Isn't that the funniest thing? I had to put my camera in there now to see what the story was there. Look at that. It's a tunnel inside a big lump of snow on the street there. Honest to goodness. So we're knocking around the town of Rutherford, New Jersey today just for a bit of fun. And the footpaths here, the sidewalks, are relatively clear, really. I mean, as you can see yourself, I'm heading down through town here and in grand comfort all together. And the bows on the florists there, aren't they lovely? After the holidays now. And as you can see, people busy removing snow from wherever it has accumulated. And as you can see, the train station there, the snow has accumulated everywhere. Look at that on the wall there. It looks like shapes of people or something. And somebody leaving their container of oil behind. But uh, isn't that a handy little thing there, isn't it? Removing the snow. M. T. Quiero. I think it's Spanish for, I love you. Somebody writing a little note in the snow. How romantic. And as we walk through Rutherford and the big tree there and the lovely palm fronds here in the center of Rutherford with the sun shining through them. Isn't that beautiful there? And the glistening snow. As people try and maneuver around each other and as we take our stroll now down through the town itself somebody had the right idea there putting their windshield wipers up and out so that they don't ice towards the window they don't stick to your window something there on the tree that looks like the shape of Ireland except elongated if you look there you can see or it's a teddy bear or something (laughs) And the red wheelbarrow there outside the Rutherford Public Library, full of snow. Isn't that beautiful there? Very festive indeed. And the library open to the public, and uh, we returned some books there and noticed that some of the branches now, having had snow accumulate upon them, are now falling. So watch your head as you go. And uh, we're right here in the centre of Rutherford, New Jersey, the post office there, and the war memorial at the centre of town. And the snow, isn't it beautiful? And a lovely blue sky we're having here in town today as people get on about the business of work or play or whatever uh, they have to do. And the newspapers there covered in snow, honest to goodness... A sign of the times. Yes, indeed. And uh, Borough Hall, isn't that lovely in the snow? Picture postcard perfect. The free parking being offered by the town of Rutherford. The two-hour limit. Uh, Unfortunately, no contenders today. Not with that amount of snow. And the fire hydrant there. (laughs) Isn't it lovely? Very Norman Rockwell-esque. Here in the town of Rutherford, New Jersey, in the snow, after the big snow blizzard that we had, and honest to goodness, it would give you a hunger for something like this. And we're having our lunch now, (laughs) and uh, people gathering now to have a bite to eat at lunchtime. Yes, indeedy. Nice bag of chips there, and... A chicken burger. (laughs) As we come down now by Springdell and over there to the William Carlos Williams Center for the Performing Arts in the Snow, I see one of the park benches there is completely covered with snow. So there'll be no sitting 
today. And snow gathering on the roofs there, making it Norman Rockwell-esque. The lovely town of Rutherford, New Jersey, creating shapes in the snow there, the winds. And of course the winds have been very strong and very painful. And here we go now, we have to go in here now from the street to the sidewalks. So we have to go through one of these little tunnels here. Watch yourself there because you'll end up your foot soaking wet in the big puddle. Jeepers crying a crikey criminy. Here we are now walking down the footpaths, the sidewalks of Rutherford, New Jersey. And as you can see, you can walk along. I mean, you have to step into the doorway when somebody passes you by. Yes, indeedy. Off she goes. And uh, she wasn't stopping for anyone, I'll tell you that much now. Jeepers, crying a crikey criminy. And isn't this interesting altogether now? This is a tunnel in Rutherford. It's a pedestrian tunnel from one street to another. Basically, you go down the tunnel here now, but there's something unusual happening today. Look at that. Snow has built up inside this long tunnel. Now, this tunnel's rather long. It's over 100 feet, I'm sure, uh, from one side to the other. So it'll give you an indication now. Look at this here. It's about a foot high, I measured it to be. The amount of snow that has accumulated inside this tunnel gives everybody a good idea now about how strong those winds were. And when they say blizzard, they mean blizzard, because that snow was blown all the way through this tunnel and has accumulated in the center of the tunnel about a foot high and compacted. Very interesting now as we head out of the Tunnel of Snow here in Rutherford, New Jersey. The 76 bus there heading towards Newark. Look at this poor old fella now coming now. Let us, let us get over there and do the responsible thing and give that man a hand for crying out loud. Here, take my hand. There you go. Over you go there now. Honest to goodness. And uh, if you see an elderly person out and about trying to... Uh, desperately to cross over a street for crying out loud the first thing you do is slow down your vehicle and of course if you're walking yourself you have to give them a hand and that's what we did here in the beautiful town of Rutherford, New Jersey and up around the Presbyterian Church there in the centre of Rutherford and the snow swirling around making ornamental shapes everywhere you look now, there's something we're going to have a look at now up here, and uh, so stay with us here on America's only Irish station, Radio Irish, uh, because we're bringing you up around the corner now to show you something very beautiful indeed. And the doorway there with the Christmas wreath on the front of it, they're celebrating the holidays here in Rutherford, New Jersey, as we take a walk around and have a look at the conditions after our snow blizzard, which is basically what we're doing. And we've delighted uh, ourselves now in getting about and shooting some footage uh, of all the things that you can see if you do happen to take a walk around the place. Okay, another fire hydrant there covered in snow. Absolutely gorgeous wherever you look. Of course, it is in parts treacherous underfoot, so be careful where you put your foot and make sure you have sturdy boots with grips or something on them. Don't go out in your Sunday best. And here's one of the surprises we have for you. Would you look at that? The icicles hanging from the Presbyterian Church here in Rutherford, New Jersey. Uh, isn't it beautiful? Absolutely gorgeous. Oh, oh my goodness. <laughs> Did you see that? One of them came down. <laughs> they must have saw us coming, huh? Did you see that? One of them came down. It just gives you an idea that uh, they'll all come down in a big row, a big chunk. Uh, so if you happen to be standing underneath that now, uh, it'll be off to the local hospital for you with a bunch of icicles stuck in the back of your neck. 
And uh, the sidewalks now nicely salted and grained as we get about the town of Rutherford, New Jersey here on America's only Irish station, Radio Irish. And uh, somebody throwing out the bottles and the Christmas tree there as we walk and have a look around town. Isn't it lovely? Well, you have to have a bit of energy for it, though, I'll tell you. And we are enjoying ourselves here on America's only Irish station, Radio Irish, today as we take you through. And the buildings and the houses lovely in the snow. The colours there of that building, the yellows and the deep. Wine, colour of the door there, that's nice. And uh, we have a lovely blue sky today as we come up here onto... Uh, Spring Dell here in Rutherford and there's a little thicket that I see I can't get across there I wish I could but uh, you cannot get across there with the snow so I'm going to have to think of something else now to do uh, to get over there there's somewhere I want to take you to now and it's somewhere special here in Rutherford and uh, it's over there and if I can only get through but you know there's a foot and a half of snow there and it goes on for quite a while over to the street and then God knows what you do when you get to the street so let me go down here okay I'll go down and I'll cross over and then I'll come back up on the other side right and the sun shining there on spring dell here in the town of rutherford new jersey isn't that gorgeous and we are over now to the other side of spring dell and we're going to uh, the parking meters again there right we'll head up here now and put ourselves over there into that Take it with our cameras if we can. <laughs> Quite a challenge. Here we go, uh, because we want to bring you some poetry here on Radio Irish, and we shall be reciting Stopping by Woods on a Snowy Evening, which is a poem written in 1922 by the great American poet Robert Frost and published in 1923 in his New Hampshire volume. Imagery and personification are prominent in the poem. In a letter to Louis Untermeyer, Frost called it my best bid for remembrance. Frost wrote his poem about winter in June 1922 at his house in Shaftesbury, Vermont. That is now home to the Robert Frost Stone House Museum. Frost had been up the entire night writing the long poem New Hampshire and had finally finished that poem when he realized morning had come. He went out to view the sunrise and suddenly got the idea for stopping by woods on a snowy evening. He wrote the new poem about the snowy evening and the little horse as he said himself, as if I'd had an hallucination in just a few minutes without straying. Stopping by Woods on a Snowy Evening by Robert Frost Whose woods these are, I think I know. His house is in the village, though. He will not see me stopping here to watch his woods fill up with snow. My little horse must think it queer to stop without a farmhouse near between the woods and frozen lake the darkest evening of the year. He gives his harness bell a shake to ask if there is some mistake the only other sounds the sweep of easy wind and downy flake. The woods are lovely, dark and deep but I have promises to keep and miles to go before I sleep and miles to go before I sleep. Stopping by Woods on a Snowy Evening by the great American poet Robert Frost here on America's only Irish station Radio Irish dot com as we enjoy ourselves around the beautiful town of Rutherford, New Jersey, following the big blizzard. Yes, indeed, and isn't it nice now to 
enjoy a little Christmas after the fact. Huh? Nice cup of hot chocolate there too does the trick. America's only Irish station, Radio Irish, as we enjoy ourselves around the beautiful town of Rutherford, New Jersey. Yes, indeedy. (laughs) 